How's it going, everybody? I'm Gab the Kerberzoid, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Now, I know, weird that I'm doing an, like, a voiced intro. I understand that, but bear with me. I just have to give a bit of a disclaimer for what's happening, and uh, more specifically, a lack of what is happening, because I'm going to be skipping a fair amount to what we had in the last episode, specifically because I did a lot of, like, kind of, like, boring wandering around looking for a Happiny, yes, you heard me right, a Happiny, couldn't find it uh, for like an hour, and then I go to the school, and there's a bunch of context, and there's a bunch of like story drops, essentially just telling you the three paths that you take in this game, and the thing is, that is just boring, and that's gonna take too long, and I'm not doing this like a let's play, it's more of a highlight of, because I'm, you know, I'm streaming it here on the channel, so subscribe if you want to watch these live, but um, you know, it's just, it's so boring. <laughs> it's boring because, you know, I'm just talking to Chad and I'm, I'm talking through it. And so I thought better yet, uh, I was going to dedicate one afternoon to see what I can do to finish this. And what ended up being created, spawned, brought into this world with my bare hands was a acapella song that essentially takes all that 30 minutes of lore and context and everything that the game tells you you can do in this game, I essentially sing it to you in seven different parts in less than a minute. So if anything, I'm saving your time just, you know, regardless of, you know, the minutes that I'm wasting talking right now. So um, yeah, it was either that or, you know, uh, sp just spend 30 minutes doing dialogue and I just thought that was boring as crap. So uh, here it is, and then I also put chapters, so if you want to skip the, uh, kind of hastily made acapella song, if that ain't your thing, you want to get right to the action, here you go, skip me right now and go to that chapter if you want, but for those that are sticking, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy a song explaining the three routes you can take in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that I made in one afternoon. Enjoy. In the big wide world of Paltea, there might be too many things to do. Well, luckily for you, my friend, I've got a song for you. It's called the Paldea Polka, and it's a song I like to sing. It's for people who are overwhelmed by choice and can't decide on anything. Oh. The treasure hunt is a mighty quest to explore the open world. Searching deep into the cloister to find your precious clam pearl. Fight all eight of the gym leaders or find some herbs and spices to help your friend's old doggy who's not feeling the nicest. And oh, dress that dastardly team star. Their evil recruiting tactics will leave your mouth ajar. So set out your moms and kick their sparkly asses so they can stop being idiots and get back to their classes. This was the Baldea Polka. I hope that you had fun. I hope this gives you some idea of where you need to run. So please don't ask me on the best thing you should do. For this is Paldea, the decision's up to you. <laughs> did you get the legend did you get the shiny charm on Legends Arceus before Scarlet and Violet? No, I didn't. I had like an eight hour stream and then I had to go car shopping the next day, so unfortunately, I did lose the challenge. Although, I got level 10 Pokedex entry on every Pokemon except for the legendaries, except for like Dialga and Palkia. Those are the only legendaries I ever got a full dex entry on. Every those were the last things I could have done. But if I did that, I would have been like drastically sleep deprived more than I was like that next day. I was like, I almost fell asleep on the wheel. So the shiny charm was not worth it chat, unfortunately. But I did say that I would do a punishment if I did, uh, if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't get the shiny charm before Scarlet and Violet. So chat, you need to tell me some punishments I need to do. And I'll do that as a main channel video. I, I said I would, but it, keep it, keep it in the realm of reality. Kill a shiny Pokemon for the punishment. Oh, f no, I don't want to do that. Oh, that sucks. Okay, if people, if, if enough people say that that's what I should do, then yeah, I'll do it. I'll kill the first shiny we see in this game outside of Blue Sister. Release the one she has. No, I have to get rid of the Blue Sister. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. No. Hey, everybody. So in my Legends Arceus stream, the last one I did, I said if I didn't get the shiny charm before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet come out, I said I would do a punishment, and my chat had the amazing idea 
of getting rid of the Psyduck that I found on the second day of releasing. It is a shiny Psyduck. Granted, I already have a shiny Psyduck, but this one, this one was the first one I found in this game. So there is a lot of love and care that I that I wanted to put into this duck. And uh, unfortunately, I'm a woman of my word, and so therefore, goodbye, blue sister. I'm just gonna have to get better at this game, I guess. Well, uh, like and subscribe for more heartbreak. Oh. Oh. Are you guys happy now? No, it's happy fine. Birthday. We've got this. I will do so well, and by that I mean I'm only gonna be cheering, and nothing else. So you better kill this Binette really fast. Cause I wanna bin- I wanna Binette this early on, that would be so nice. Oh, what is that beautiful sight? It's a Binette. Okay guys, you ready? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a dead on spice, oh my god, I am so- I am so not ready. Cheer! Go all out, guys! Yeah! Yeah! Whoop their ass! Whoop their ass! See, you can... You got it. You got it. I believe in you guys. Uh-oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It just burned me. It's fine. Keep hitting it. Fast. Now. Ow. All right, all right. Oh, God. Oh, it has a shield. Terrestrialize your Pokemon to stop Annette. I'm going to cheer some more. Oh, I can't cheer anymore. It is taking forever. Go all out. Whoop their ass. Whoop their ass. Yeah. Go, Whooper. Whooper's helping out so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Nah, I got this. Oh, this is so bad! I told you, I got this. What do, what do we catch it with? I'll catch it with... I'll catch it with a regular Pokeball. <laughs> Wooper did it all. He helped. Wooper was the definition of moral support. Oh my god. Hey, dude, this is gonna help me get some, like, easy experience candy, so I'm fine with this. Catch, please. Catch, please. Yeah! <laughs> you see him do the fireball. Yeah, that's fair. I got him. <laughs> uh, and they say that this game's hard. <laughs> oh! Dementio is evolving. Look at him. Florigato. Look at that. Adorable. Goddamn. Florigato. The hardness of Florigato's fur depends on the Pokemon's mood. When Florigato is prepared to battle, its fur becomes pointed and needle sharp. And it's got a yo-yo, meaning it's the coolest Pokemon ever. Let me get... No, no, no. Let Leo. Let Leo. Give me a chance here, buddy. Normal fighter? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. We're doing a raid waiting for you. F Wait, let me catch this Let Leo really fast. Sorry. I completely forgot. Oh, we can also do an- oh shit. I didn't even think about the- I'm an idiot. I'm a damn fool. Choose the next Pokemon. Uh... The only reason I would, like, have Dementio as, like, it, the only reason I would keep him for the Anything But Normal team is because Anything But Normal and then, like, with it being a Jester. I just think that's funny. But then we're gonna get a small Smoliv, like, eventually, so... We're gonna keep it until we have Dementio. It. Oh, I didn't do it any damage at all. Also, that's such a bad idea, but I don't have any better ones, so. Bite again. It doesn't seem to have any, like, fire type moves, so. Doing primo on that. I just had to fing say something, didn't I? My god, I bugged out? Oh, I'm sorry. Big Chungus, no. <laughs> Big Chungus, no. Uh. I... We'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll do the raid and then we'll get you back in, Big Chungus. I need to get you back, my, my good friend, Big Chungus. We gotta get you in. First, I gotta get some easy level ups. Love that, love that. Uh, no. You're gonna learn Slash soon. Bug Bite. I will get, I'll take Bug Bite. Uh, actually, your special, yeah, no, your attack's better. 
So I'll just get rid of Struggle Bug. Plus, Struggle Bug kind of fucking sucks. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, chat? Kind of shit. Fire Normal. Litleo, the Fire Cub Pokemon. This is, the more Litleo trains its body and spirit by battling mighty enemies, the hotter its mane will grow. Is it a dude? No, it's a girl. Okay. Uh. Julia. Your name is Julia. It's on the party. Hey, right, who we who we ditching? All right, let's get rid of let's get rid of Norman French because that's probably a better choice. Hello, this is Kerb's phone, right? It's me, Arvin. I was a bit worried about whether or not you'd managed to get to set out yet. You did end up deciding to, to f after leaving the school. If so, you're not that far from the area where the Stony Cliff Titan is said to make its lair. Stories say it clings to cliffs, practically becomes part of the stone, then attacks from above. Though, maybe don't be staring up overhead all the time looking for a titan, only to go tumbling off some cliff you didn't see. If that ever does happen, you can open your map and call yourself a flying taxi to pick you up. Some of those rocky areas are like a real maze, so try not to get lost, little buddy. And if you find a titan, let me know! Oh! Oh! Oh no, your arm! Oh my god, what's happening? What is happening to this poor boy? Still angry at the side shiny fortress? I would do. That is... Is this only showing up on my end? Oh my god. Wait. I need to take a photo of this. <gasps> no! <laughs> my f bell man. Oh, he's broken. He's broken forever. And now, everyone, I present to you the insanity compilation of finding my shiny small live. Bug. I believe in you. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You blow it! Keep your peepers peeled, chat. We have to find this guy. This is our only chance. I'm not letting this... I'm, I am not letting Big Chunk is use another f***ing Urban Mystica. I'm not doing that. Whoever finds it, you get it. You just get it. And if you want to trade it to me, you're fine. But, like, I'm not going to force you to. Okay, kill... Kill them all. Kill the non-shinies. Kill the heretics! Kill the heretics! Burn my heart away. Take the will. Take control. Take my body and my soul. Take me Oh! Time that I'm not killing olives is time wasted. I'm just saying, chat. Kill every olive so that more olives spawn. That is my goal right now. I will say this is definitely a different shiny hunting experience than what I've normally done. And I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. I, I do think this is cool. Oh my god. Please, why does the let's go mechanic suck when you're driving? Why can't I let's go and drive? Come on, game. Let me do it. I'm, resp I'm a responsible adult, clearly. I had to, like, remove so much music from my music bot because I was so used to having, like... Not, like, copyrighted music, but, like, you know, freely, like showing artists that I love on the platform when I was streaming on Twitch because you could do a Twitch VOD track and then the VOD track would be the one that you would hear and so then you wouldn't hear any music during the VOD and I missed that because I got to like show off artists that I love but now I can't do that because if like because now I can have like literally any random asshole pretending to be a Pretending to be that artist and being like, I want all of your money that you make on this YouTube video. And I just have to like comply and like sit like a dog and it's like, I hate it. That's like the one of the only, that's one of the only things I kind of miss about Twitch is that I could do VOD tracks. I miss doing those. Or I miss having the ability to, to do that because God, that'd be so nice. This is intense chat. I'm not gonna lie. This like... This doesn't look like it, but I am like sweating profusely. I'm just like, I gotta, gotta keep an eye peeper peeled, dude. I used to draw small of all the time when I when it first came out. I would draw it eh, so much. I would draw it eh, so much. Um, nah, I just God, I just I love the design and it's so easy to draw. It's like a simple drawing to do, and I'm just like, oh, 
robots is adorable. I was debating on whether or not to evolve it, if I'm honest. Like, the, the evolution looks fine. It doesn't look bad. It's just, I don't know. Small of is just such a cute design on its own that I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want to. By the way, Curb, did you hear about the shiny cutscene glitch with the starters? I did not. Basically, sometimes when you boot up the game, the starters could appear shiny, even though they are shiny locked. So apparently it's just a glitch laughing at your face. Oh, that sucks. Happy birthday. Oh, that's sad. Well, it's, yeah, it's more sad than it sucks, but like, still sucks. The fire starter fire evolution kind of looks okay. Yeah, it does. It's just, it's not, again, like, I'm honest about, like, my preference towards shiny Pokemon. Like, they need to be a very vivid, like, color difference for me to like them. Like, that's the whole point of a shiny Pokemon, is that it's meant to, like, look different. So when you have, like, fucking Pikachu that just looks, like, slightly more orange, I just don't care. <laughs> it's not that they're bad, like, there's some, like, genuinely bad ones, like Garchomp. But, like, Charman or Charizard, like, that's, like, the definitive, like shiny pokemon i feel like it's one of the most well-known shiny pokemon because it's just a black charizard and promise Happy me to birthday. take care of the last special one there's a special one here's squishy i don't like this oh oh you didn't have to do that honest oh you're kidding yes i'm gonna take care of it you didn't have to you didn't have to do that that's so nice of you. God damn it. Why do you do this to me? Me with shiny charm and increased chances? Yeah, I don't... I genuinely do not get that. Like, it feels like we should just have the shiny by now, but I guess not. Found it! Oh my god, I found it, I found it, I found it. Thank f God, I found it. Oh, Jiminy. Jiminy. It's Jiminy. I have my favorite friend. He's my best friend, Jiminy. Jiminy's evolving. Get him, Jiminy. Whoop him, at, whoop him ass, Jiminy. At least you got one. Yeah, oh my God. That was hell. Jiminy. Oh my God, you're so pretty, Jiminy. It's Olive. Jiminy, you're so pretty. It basks in the sun to its heart's content until the fruits on its head ripen. After that, Dolive, Dolive departs from human settlement and goes on a journey. Jiminy's on a quest. He's on his Jiminy quest. I got it. Like, I just, I straight up have it. Oh, hey, Curb! Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I knew it! I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym t every, every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Three super potions, thank you. Also, when we beat a gym, we get more shop items, which we need. Guess I'll go battle every trainer I run into! Oh, God bless them. God help them all. Welcome to the Cortando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Curb, yes? Yes. Yes, it is. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Katie, you'll need to pass the gym test. Here at Cortando Gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortando. Even though we're the bug type gym, we've held the Olive Festival Har the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. Blech. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year too. The staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location of your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. Hey, Curb, not sure which gym you're after, but I have a spare shiny Lockix that my friend doesn't want, and I'd be down to give it to the stream. I think they're, like, level 40, so it may be a while, though. Holy shit, guys. Stop giving me... I mean, I'm, I'll take them. I'll take the shinies. I'll take them. But, guys... <laughs> I will display them and give them a good home. I will be, like, contractually obligated. Actually, honestly, I might give it to my personal file, but yeah, no. If you want to give me a shiny, sure. Welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. 
This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Yes, I am. Yes, ma'am. Great, put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. So chat, I found out this really funny thing you can do. It's, it's hilarious, really. If you use your bike and then just jump, and then just like jump, we can just completely pass this test and not have to do any of the actual olive rolling. Yeah, you bitch. Get in there. There we are. Go! Woo! Woo! I'm, I'm absolutely living it, chat. This is great. I'm having such a good time. That was a challenge right there. That was a gym challenge. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great harvest next year. I didn't say all of... Oh, well. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations! Please report your result to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a Vivillion. And I said it really, it's a Vivillon. I said it really weird when I first uh, played this, but that's fine. Eat up, my cute little Vivillon. I guess this is the voice we're going with. Vivillon! See you, loser. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Oh, forgive me. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Pastry Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortondo Gym right now. Forgive me. <clears throat> My name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let- Jesus. Don't let your guard down unless you'd like to find yourself not off your feet. Of course, pain immediately, like- sweats over the first, like, woman that we find in the game. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, a nimble. Okay, what the hell is going on out there? Don't take my Bug-type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. I think we're... I think we're far from underestimating you. Also... Oh... Okay, I wonder if, like, a Terrastal Fire Spin is actually gonna do any damage. I wonder. Let's see. What the hell are you sending out, Eli? Jesus. Oh yeah, they're so powerful. Mention a pseudo-legendary bug type. <laughs> is there? I mean, the only... I mean, it's like the Lorvesta evolution is a pseudo-legendary, isn't it? Or at least it's like revered as a god. I know that much. Holy Christ, what is going on? A Tarantula. Keep current Pokemon. Tarantula. It's a bug. I do like its evolution, by the way. If we weren't doing, like, an anything but normal team, you know, if my team... I, I would have, like, had it on the team or kept it. Also, just because Norman French is, was just super cute. I can't be Spin Boy? Yeah. You can make a bunch of effects happen, apparently, and make a bunch of loud-ass noise. Apparently, you can do that just fine. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? If you don't know, never mind. I just remembered Full Corona. Ah! That's the name of it. Thank you. Fire Spin again. Now, my little Pokémon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own! Okay, this is a really cool mechanic that they just make terrestrial Pokemon of their type out of Pokemon that they just like. They make do- like, I think that's really cool, just on a theming aspect alone. I just think that's sick.
Okay. I love this. Okay. This game has a fucking bop soundtrack. Like, say what you will about the performance and what that means for you. But you cannot fucking deny just how much of a fucking bop and just how much of a good time that this soundtrack is. I love it so much. I just, I don't know. This is such a good game. I love it. It's glitchy and it's slow. It performs like ass, but like, god damn it. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon games so far. I love it. Leveled up to level 15. Good job, Junko. Good job. Oh. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. And I'm happy, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, well. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel like I might... Ugh, I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Oh, I love that little... Oh, I love her little smirk. That's so cute. Oh, uh, I'm very happy with how my curb character went out or came out. I love it a lot. Oh, we're here. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? The theming so fucking good. Also, Pounce is just essentially a... It's just essentially tackle, but it's bug type. It's really all it is. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? Jesus, what's going on? I wish you luck in your adventure, uh, your future adventures. May they be as sweet and as lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then, until we meet again. Lovely gym leader. I love the idea of a baker. She's like those moms that like sneak, br like sneak, uh, like Brussels sprouts into brownies. People do that, by the way. Uh, she would probably do that, but like with ants. 